There's a fire in your television. Next! CapeCast! Howdy folks, I'm Eric Williams and welcome to CapeCast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times for December 21st. We burn, baby, burn in the second half of the show with a feature about a televised Yule log. But first, let's take a look at news. In the Down East Drama Department, a 40-foot humpback whale was cut free of fishing lines in Canadian waters yesterday morning with the aid of a rescuer from the Provincetown Center for Coastal Studies. Scott Landry of the Provincetown nonprofit helped Canadian authorities make about 35 cuts through the lines, which were more than a half inch thick and wrapped around the whale's body. In the Up on the Farm department, the town-owned Seacall Farm on Tonsett Road in Orleans has been accepted for listing on the National Register of Historic Places. It's the last intact farm in Orleans, say historians, a far cry from 1865 when the town contained 77 farms. Hey folks, speaking of old school traditions with a modern twist, Lower Cape Television will turn your television into a fireplace this Christmas with their legendary 24-hour Yule Log show. It's the Yule Log again. It's coming up. Could you tell us what's going to happen with this program? You have a fire in your house, but here's a fire in everybody's house. The same fire, you know? And it's, it's kind of like a, a, a gigantic campfire of sorts. My favorite type of television is minimalist television. So to me, this is a dream come true. We're doing this on Christmas Eve from 8.30 at night and for 24 hours uh, till 8.30 p.m. Christmas night. And uh, wow, boy, that was a big one. It's just what you see. I mean, you hear no music. We figure everybody's got their own music. People that never watch the channel say, yeah, I had it on the whole time. Hours, you know? I mean, that's quality television, Eric. <laughs> you know it when you see it. As James Paul talked about his successful U-log, I flash back to a fiery Capecast failure. Oh, this isn't hot. Oh, hot, 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 really hot. Oh, oh, ow, ow, oh, extremely hot. Excuse me, which way to the pool? Hot, hot, ow, oh, but hot. Oh, that's so good. Another one I thought was great would just be to have a camera on the ground and people would walk by and you just see their shoes and have it go for hours, you know. Well, I remember at one point, I think you pitched to me the vacuuming show or something like the that. The vacuuming channel, yeah, the channel that truly sucks, yeah. And we here at CapeCast were so inspired by Lower Cape TV's programming that we decided to launch our own ambient network. The yoke's on you if you're not watching Hard Boiled on the CapeCast Ambient Network. You never know what will turn up in the lint screen new this fall on CAN. Oh, it's hot, really hot. But is it strong enough? Check out Steeping Tea on the CapeCast Ambient Network. He sleeps by night and by day. Hope the boss isn't watching Cubicle Nap, only on the CapeCast Ambient Network. Now let's wake up to the world of sports. In the short pants, big heart world of boys high school basketball, Hartwich harvested Cape Cod Academy last night, 70 to 47. Okay, let's check the all-important Cape and Islands weather forecast, backed by picks from Skakit Beach in Orleans. For tonight, mostly cloudy with a low around 23. For Saturday, increasing clouds with a high near 35. And for Sunday, a chance of showers mainly after 3 p.m. cloudy with a high near 51. Okay, we've got to get out of here. This has been CapeCast for December 21st. Have a great weekend, everybody. See ya! CapeCast! And for instance, if you're like some of the people around here, you know, with the, that have the really big houses with the giant TV screens in them, it'll be like their room is on fire. <laughs> and nothing says Christmas like that.